Old war wounds resurface. Acts of cannibalism in World War II. Especially the Pacific Front. Old Japanese soldiers acknowledge having eaten the prisoners in an act of desperation for the hunger they went through in the jungle. They treated the prisoners as if they were cattle. Japanese atrocities in World War II including cannibalism. The slaughter and starvation of prisoners of war rape and enforced prostitution. The murder of non-combatants and biological warfare experiments. Abstract Japanese soldiers consumed the flesh of their own comrades killed in fighting as well as that of Australians, Pakistanis and Indians. He also traces the fate of 65 shipwrecked Australian nurses and British soldiers who were shot or stabbed to death by Japanese soldiers. 32 other nurses who landed on another island were captured and sent to Sumatra to become prostitutes for Japanese soldiers. Thousands of Australian and British prisoners of war died in the infamous Sandakan camp in the Borneo jungle in 1945. Those who survived were forced to endure a tortuous 160-mile march on which anyone who dropped out of line was immediately shot. Individual atrocities are explored in their broader social, psychological, and institutional contexts. Japanese behavior during World War II is examined in the broader framework of the dehumanization of men at war, without denying individual and national responsibility. Notes, tables, figures, charts, maps, and photographs. For six months, historian Toshiyuki Tanaka dug through Australian archives to tell his country that some Japanese soldiers were cannibals during the last desperate days of World War II. Allied forces have known this for years. But Tanaka's account, published in the Tokyo Media Tuesday, represents the first Japanese investigation into the atrocities and the most extensive study of the subject to date. Tanaka, an associate professor of political science at the University of Melbourne, said he uncovered more than 100 cases of Japanese Imperial Army soldiers eating the flesh of Australian troops, Asian laborers and indigenous people in Papua New Guinea. These documents clearly show that this cannibalism was done by a whole group of Japanese soldiers. And in some cases they were not even starving Tanaka set Tuesday. Some, their supply lines cut off, were genuinely hungry. But in other cases, officers ordered troops to eat human flesh to give them a feeling of victory Tanaka said. Born after his country's defeat, the 43-year-old Tanaka wants to educate young Japanese who are not told anything about the war at a time when their leaders are considering erasing sections of its post-war constitution that prohibits sending troops overseas. Tanaka said he tried several times to publish his work in Japan but it was deemed too sensitive. His account didn't receive much attention Tuesday in Japanese TV and newspapers the Mainichi newspaper placed it inside on page 6. Tanaka's findings are based on Japanese army documents seized by Australian troops, plus the testimony of witnesses and the confessions of Japanese soldiers at war crime trials. An English translation of a secret Imperial Army order issued November. 18, 1944 warned troops that cannibalizing anyone not an enemy was punishable by death. The order described cannibalism as the worst human crime and blamed increases in murders and the possession of human flesh by soldiers on a lack of thoroughness in moral training. Another archive contained testimony by Australian troops to war crimes tribunals. An Australian Army Corporal recounted how he found the mutilated bodies of his comrades. One had only the hands and feet untouched. An Australian Lieutenant described finding the dismembered remains of several bodies, saying, In all cases the condition of the remains were such that there can be no doubt that the bodies had been dismembered and portions of flesh cooked. Other witnesses reported they saw Japanese soldiers eating prisoners of war as well as Indian and Asian laborers and Papua New Guineans. A Pakistani corporal captured in Singapore and transported to Papua New Guinea for slave labor. 
claimed hungry Japanese soldiers killed and ate one prisoner a day, reaching a total of about 100. In Canberra, Australian National University war historian Hank Nelson said cannibalism took place in isolated fighting zones such as the Kokoda Trail, Seapig River and Bougainville Island. Nelson had also uncovered evidence of cannibalism. One young Japanese soldier confessed at a war crimes trial he ate the flesh of an Australian he had shot in battle. He simply said he did it out of intense hatred and intense hunger. Nelson said. Bruce Ruxton, Victoria State President of the Returned Services League which represents Australian veterans said the atrocities had been ignored by the Japanese people for 50 years. Cannibalism did take place he said, adding. But all of these sorts of things have been kept under wraps in Japan since then. Historians still criticize the decision not to blame the Emperor Hirohito knowing that he was aware of everything that happened in the war. If you like the video please make like. Thanks.